with my Hobonichi cousin, Planner, and I have a little bit of catching up to do on some uh, daily pages, and just thought I would invite you to watch along while I work on those. I just have these pages and these pages um, to get kind of caught up or up to date, and so I'm not too far behind. So um, just pull up your journal if you want or some other project and join me while I kind of brainstorm. I don't have a plan yet for these pages. I'm just going to kind of um, wing it as I go and we'll see what happens. On this page, I've already done a little bit of prep work on both of these pages. I did some doodles and the names of the day with a with some brisket and a ruling pan and then I watercolored over that so that's how I got this look and then I pasted in these um, drawings of some plants and flowers and these happen to be by Illustrated Faith. I'm grabbing my compass here because I kind of had an idea about um, adding a circle that went across both pages and making kind of a double page spread out of this. So we'll see how that works out. So I'm just going to go ahead and sketch um, some things that look kind of similar to the flowers and plants that are already pasted in. They're uh, fairly simple to draw, so I'm just kind of doing a little uh, my own sketch version of those in the circle. Now I'm getting out my watercolors and I'm going to kind of paint the circle to match what's already there. So there's pinks and oranges and yellows. So that's what I'm going to use to paint in this circle. Still not sure how this is going to turn out. I'm just kind of doing an experiment here and, and playing. out some date dots that I'm kind of trying out for my patrons so this is a little sneak peek um, I did stick down the wrong uh, dates on here so later you'll see that I have to go back and uh, fix that 
but um, I'm going back uh, I think in the last video I did some of these painted lines to do my journaling on that just kind of help me when I don't have a whole lot to say it just helps me not write um, too tiny on the page so uh, I kind of like that look as well I'm pulling out a little washi a piece of washi sticker here um, I think I got this from Paper Game Co. on Etsy and I'm just placing it and I'm going to trim off that part that overlaps with the circle so that I can maintain that circle shape in the center. tape just to kind of cover up where the date was on the page and um, I it really blends in nicely I think with the with the pink paint that I used My squeaky chair doesn't bother you it's actually one that my father had in at his office um, when I was very young and that squeak of the chair just uh, brings back some fond memories to me so um, I don't think of it as a problem but I realize as I listen to this that that probably just seems kind of loud to you pen this time. I kind of vary what I like to use to journal with. Um, sometimes I use my fountain pen. Sometimes I use a 0.1 pen. Um, so I just kind of switch around 
uh, to whatever the mood strikes me since I'm using a little bit bigger tip since I made these bigger lines to write on. I'm checking back onto my week's pages to uh, double check what I did that day and um, I like that I always have a record of at least my to-do list in the weeks because that always um, stays current. a little bit more doodles into the circle just to kind of fill it in a little bit more. country and often see deer out in our um, field and that's kind of an extension of our yard and we did see some deer on this particular evening my husband and I and I had these deer that I cut out of a magazine so I'm taking the opportunity to use those and um, the other images are cut from um, I believe it's the wellness mantra magazine as I often do, I kind of try out some different things before I settle in on um, one look. Right now I'm trying out a um, palette piece that my April patrons got and covering it with some graph paper to make like a journaling block, but I end up deciding that's still a little too busy for me and I want something a little simpler. So I go with just the journaling block and um, these words I'm putting at the top were cut from a magazine that says um, dreaming and designing your life and my husband and I have been as we approach retirement talking about different ideas of what we want to do and how we want to live and and what we really want from the rest of our life and so I plan to journal a little bit about that so I thought that title was good. I spent most of the day working and I found this quote that, especially for um, artists, I believe that working is good. Painting makes me feel like a better human being. It's what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and that was also cut out of a magazine. <laughs> figured out I had my dates wrong and um, so I'm switching those and 
I had trimmed them, so I have to be a little bit creative in how I um, go ahead and put, use those on the other pages, but it all worked out fine. So now I have the right dates on here, and we're all good to go again. On Sundays, I really um, enjoy spending a little time in the afternoon working in my uh, planner and doing some journaling, and that's what this image that I cut from a magazine is supposed to represent. I'm adding in some watercolor here to kind of help those words, that quote that I glued in stand out a little bit, show up. Since I worked that day, I'm sketching in some pieces of art. Pulled out my fountain pen filled with Lexington Gray ink by uh, Noodler's Ink Company. This is one of my doodle days of the week that my uh, April patrons got, and I have found those so handy personally. I like that they're black and white. I can add color if I want to, or I can just leave them as that kind of graphic statement of the day. Each Sunday, I try to do a verse that I can kind of think on for the week, and um, so I'm penciling that in right now. I chose um, Jeremiah 29:11.
flipping back to my weeks page for the previous week and um, I'm looking at kind of embellishing it. I'll pull out stickers. I'll um, kind of like to leave these pages kind of decorated and complete looking without a lot of white space. The sticker organizer is by Sticky though I have also stuck in um, other various assorted stickers I have like my own stickers, red bubble stickers, and so on. But I really like these little organizer sheets and they make it easy to find um, what you're looking for in it. I have them sorted not only by the sticky packs that come, but also just kind of by topic. So I'll stick other things in there as well. The lion sticker is actually a transparent sticker of one of my um, pieces that I just received and it and will be available in my Etsy shop. The paint brushes were from my Patreon collage sheet. And now I'm pulling out some sticky um, stickers that have kind of an art theme, which was kind of the theme of the week, was making lots of art, getting ready for an upcoming art show. So I'm going to be pulling off um, a little easel here and sticking in one of the spaces and just kind of looking for stickers to fill in that kind of represent the activities of either the day or the week. flipping to the coming week and um, kind of planning and just looking at the layout of the week, maybe adding in some more stickers here and there, um, just kind of getting a feel for how the week's going to play out. I 
as I finish up this video, I'm going to uh, share with you opening up my sticky subscription for April. And so that's what will be coming up next. I am here with my April sticky that just came in the mail today. I got two packs. One is the vintage and one is the cute. And I honestly cannot remember um, what the themes of these are. So I'm just going to open them up. And look, oh, this is cute. This is the vintage pack. I love this notepad. Very cute. I will enjoy that. And it's, this one also has a stamp. A little cute little mushroom house. Very cute. This is a whole mushroom. The mushroom forest is what this theme is. I'm going to stick this on here. Here's some I think these are I don't know if these are stickers. I guess they are. Some like vintage uh, terrariums or something like that. Those are fun. I'm going to leave these out because I'll store them somewhere else. Here are the sticker sheets. Oh, very fun. I, I really like mushrooms. I don't know what it is about them. Oh, and this is cute with all the little forest creatures. Fox and owl and rabbits. Yeah, those will be fun. And here are some little cute ones. Um, little animals under mushrooms. And then some more colorful mushrooms. Yes, this will be very fun. And I have some mushroom stickers of my own that I can um, stick in with those too. So those will be fun. Maybe I'm kind of undecided about these stamps, um, how to store them. Maybe I will go ahead and leave that with that. So that was the vintage pack, and this is the cute pack. Oh, that's also a very cute little notepad. Also has mushrooms. And this one has a cool paper clip. theme of this one is story time. There's lots of very cute little animals on here. Oh, this is cute with the little storybooks and animals. You can see that. Here is a... Oh, this has dates. That will be fun to use. Very cool. That will be fun. Those will be fun to use. This is Pusheen, the cat, which I'm not terribly into, but those are cute. 
And this one has some mushrooms. Also. Okay, those are cute. I like using um, these little stickers like this, especially on my week and monthly pages. So like on my week pages, I'll just kind of fill in some areas with some of these stickers wherever I have some empty areas. It's just kind of fun to fill in or on my, also use them on my um, months. I've been kind of doing my months um, as gratitudes, but I also use stickers on part of the days and fill in. And I am, need to go do some backtracking on March, so um, that's definitely something I need to do some work on. So maybe I'll just make use of some of these stickers here. Mm -hmm.